Okay guys, so next up on the list is we're gonna be working through importing media and organizing those clips once you've actually imported the media into your project and already have all your clips down here. Now, both of these obviously very crucial parts of the video editing process. Importing media for obvious reasons. You would have nothing to edit if you <laughs> didn't import any media in the first place. And organizing clips might seem like kind of a, an optional step to you. Believe me, it is, but I'm gonna get into it um, more in this video uh, just on why I think you should not overlook the organizing of clips process and personally why I'm gonna be giving you some insider kind of information into my mind how I personally should have gotten into organizing clips from the very start of my video editing career and overall I probably would have saved myself a lot of time combined on projects by instead of just throwing all my clips into there and leaving it like one big mess I should have organized clips and believe me, it's gonna save you a whole lot of time down the road if you do. But anyways, let's start at the beginning of this section right now, guys, and I wanna just walk you through how to import clips. Now, there's two main ways that I personally go about importing clips. One of them is, is well, they're both really easy. I'll, I'll level with you, but one of them's a slight bit easier. Let me just work you through the first way and then I'll show you that quick way, which is personally the way I like to do it. The first, um, way of actually going about this is you can go up to file then just come down here to import Import go ahead and click that and we're gonna just go ahead to our example folder And we could highlight our clips here and go down here and open them and that would import them all to our project However, that is way number one by all means import that I'm just gonna quickly show you an alternate way where I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that open up a file, I'm gonna bring this over for my other screen, and you see you can you can simply open up the file where, where all your files are at, or the folder where all your files are at, and um, this is just my example folder right here, and you can simply highlight them all and just drag them over. You see, if you drag that over and you hover over the import media, it's gonna come up with the option to copy these particular clips that you've selected and dragged over, into your project media area. So if we just go ahead and let go, it is going to, boom, import all those clips for us, and just like that, they show up down here in our project. And we can now move on to overall organizing them, and eventually, in, in a couple minutes, importing them into our timeline after we have organized, and also in and outed each of these clips, which is something you might be totally unfamiliar with. Do not worry, we will be mentioning that in a second. First off, I just want to jump into organizing clips, guys, and the importance of organizing clips. I'm telling you, I am personally kind of like an OCD guy, so this may be more exclusive to, uh, to, to, to people who share this kind of per, uh, personality trait, um, as personally I do, but Already, it can get very, very stressful when you're dealing with a big project, when your timeline is going to be full of loads of crazy clips, you're already trying to keep track of what's going on over in your timeline, and keeping that organized, let alone also trying to keep your project itself organized, and, and, and your project media itself organized. Organized so trust me you want to keep this this nice and organized and it's just gonna help your your mental clarity at the very least so let's go ahead and show you how I would personally start organizing my clips depending on what kind of project this is. But obviously, by the way, guys, if you've only got five clips, you can keep track of that in your brain, let's be real. But I'm talking about these more clip-heavy, um, you know, 100, 200 clip projects, which personally I work on a lot, a lot of the time on. And overall, it is pretty crucial that you start organizing your clips if you're working on a hefty project like this. But overall, the way I actually start organizing my clips, guys, is by organizing them by what type of clip they are. For example, if we open up this first clip here, this right here is an opening shot. Now this is of a club that I filmed a promo video for about two weeks ago, so we can clearly see this is going to be the introduction shot, right? This is a run through of the big crowd that's standing outside, and as I play through, it is just a walking past shot of this big crowd lining up to go into the club. So that personally for me would go under the category of intro. And I would create a new folder by going down here to new bin, tap that, and I would call this intro. 
Boom, simple, just like that. And I would drag my first clip into there. Just like that, drag, hover over, and let go. And if, you, if, if, if we shut that up there, you see that that is now added to the intro folder. Then what I would do, guys, is I would proceed to simply double-click each clip so they open up here in my source overview, which we looked at before, and I would just start to organize them into folders based on what they are. So this right here is the bottle service girl bringing bottle service to a table at this club. So this right here could actually go under B-roll. That is correct. This would involve all the other kind of um, secondary clips, if you know what I mean. The stuff that we're just going to be throwing in there to balance the different DJs that I got, and uh, etc. So then, obviously, as you guessed it, we would just continue to open up these clips one by one and organize them. So this one here, I can clearly see this is a DJ. So I could, boom, make my third folder, call that DJs, and go ahead and save that, drag number 47 into here, and I could actually minimize all these so we just have nice three simple folders and actually just proceed to open up each one of these clips as we go. Boom, that's another DJ one, drag that there, and simply organize it based on what type of shots these are. So that's another DJ right there. Simply organize that, and I'm just gonna go ahead and simply organize all these clips. This right here, I would classify that as B-roll as well. That's just um, other cool footage of stuff going on in the club external to the DJ. Boom, another DJ shot, nice and simple. And I'm just gonna quickly work through these shots right here and pretty much just organize them into what type of clip they are. And believe me, I know loads of people, hands-on people I work with, <laughs> with projects on damn near monthly that completely avoid this process right here when in actuality, it's a very important process. Personally, um, I believe that the way you start video editing kind of is how um, is how you continue to video edit it through uh, video edit rather <laughs> throughout the course of your editing career. Now, what I mean by that is the creative process um, you get yourself into at first is probably going to be the way you continue to edit throughout the course of your career, like I just said. So it is important in my mind to get into all of these healthy habits, for example, like organizing your clips, um, before you kind of start to already get set in your ways about certain editing procedures, right? For example, um, I personally have only recently in the past six months or so started fully utilizing the folders in Premiere Pro and overall um, spending that extra five or ten minutes to organize my clips. Very important, extremely important process, and um, overall it's going to save you guys so much time. And you see right here, it hasn't even taken us too long. I've just talked to you guys over uh, about the benefits of this while simply organizing my clips here into DJs or B-roll. That was a DJ right there, actually. I think I put that in B-roll. Let's go ahead. And um, by the way, if this obviously isn't specific to the type of video production you're working on, by all means, this uh, this method right here could be used as an example. If you're working on a music video, again, you could do B-roll, um, main scene, uh, you know, whatever. Basically, these three titles are just titles that are specific to my particular project. So if your project uh, obviously doesn't have DJs or, or maybe doesn't have a B-roll or, or, or whatever it might have or, or, or might not have, don't be put off by my simple example. By all means, apply this to whatever project you are working on. And that right there, guys, is actually the process of importing media and then organizing your clips. And I'm not going to go over it. I'm not going to stress it again. I just want to say, finally, trust me, you guys will not regret it at all if you get into the habit right off the bat, right at the start of your video editing career of organizing those clips.